Alright. We live. Welcome back to the Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. Was gonna, it took me a while to get online today because it's, um, it's me. You know how I am. Um, well, I mean, if you watched me before, I suppose. But, um, woke up this morning. <laughs> I just saw the saw the the shitstorm. I'm like, oh, Kanye was on um on Alex Jones show. Oh yeah, cool, whatever, you know. Been there, done that. <laughs> then I noticed more and more coming up. In the last half hour, like news stations going crazy, and yeah, Kanye's. Sorry, not Kanye. Yeah, he's been, um, pressing Hitler. <laughs> hey, Seventh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm living with, at my brother's uh, place with his family because, uh, yeah, shit sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's great living here because, like, my brother and his family is, are amazing, and I love spending time with them and the kids. But, like, yeah. The whole real estate agent stuff is uh, not... has It has not been fun. I'll say that much. <sighs> the Gloom Wolf. Well, I don't know what a Gloom Wolf is. But yeah, wait until you see this shit. Holy fuck! I don't get it. I don't. Uh, I don't understand. What's wrong with you, yay? <laughs> yay! What are you doing? <sighs> Trying to find a good spot to put this. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, let's just get... I, I just want to start off slow. I, I do need to do some um, small bits and pieces. Some housekeeping in the game because I've just been... I've just... I, I need to set up key bindings, basically. So yeah. We're gonna wait for it to load. Come and load! What's going on? Oh shit. Hey. 
Everyone's dying and being murdered. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright. Controls. Keybinds. Alright, we're doing add on keybinds now. Combat statistics, post combat statistics. Ah yes, for the filleting of all sacks. Hey! Welcome back, Ashame. <laughs> okay. Nope, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can change this now. I can't remember what X does now. Alright, we'll figure this shit out. The horse button should be this one. Yes! Yes! I did it! I did it! Alright. Now that I've done that... <coughs> Pardon me. I can turn this down, and we can start looking at how fucking insane. Not insane, I just... Uh, just just look at this shit. Just look at it. Alright, just look at it. Uh... Where are we? Free, Free back, back. Edit. I need to...
fix this stuff up, move it around, I need to change the volume of it down to like non ear breaking levels. Infowarstore.com. Free shipping is back at Infowarstore.com. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, this guy is, yeah. More. And the other orders, you've seen the prices on that. You're still looking at someone someone set it on my heart to build communities, to build. You know, it's you interesting, know, it's interesting if, you look, if you look. Kanye, sorry, Ye was on fucking Alex Jones, and I, I just wanted to see this shit happen in Our real time. time. No, let's. Holy shit, he gets old. The way we, the way we run, our run our families, our businesses, businesses, and the way we run our country. Run our country. Oh, your, your radio that's my fault. I always forget to turn off my um, right main now. audio. You're, you're, you, this is a new look for you. Oh, no, I've been wearing a mask <laughs> for a while. Ah. Yeah. Well, this is an He's wearing a mask now. Mask He's awesome. wearing a balance of the mask. mask. <laughs> People can take it how they, how they want to take it. It's just, you know, it's interesting <laughs> if you look at a Michael Jordan or something, you would load up all these pictures and he's smiling and he's holding a basketball, he's jumping from the free throw line. And then you look at uh, <sighs> uh, Phil Knight and you barely can see a picture of him and he's got his face covered. So I don't have to show my face, it's me. <laughs> that's my, that's my- Just don't do that in France. Oh. My right. Absolutely, well that's, that's, that's what Hollywood wants to do though, is to control everybody through images. <laughs> I love, I love how how long that like pause was for Alex Jones to like think. All right, what? Well, how do I talk about this? How do I talk about this? Exactly. So I'm in control of my image now. It's no longer the people that froze my account. It's no longer the people that threatened me. <clears throat> not your account. That was the business account. That was not your account. We've got past Dude. the threats. They tried to throw me in jail for the truth. Uh, no, no, tax evasion is not throwing you in jail for the truth. You tried to commit tax evasion. Tax you know, fraud, tax people evasion. People believe me. And people see that... Currently, um, all, uh, all Australians, basically, right now are in danger of, uh, tax fraud, uh, charges at the moment because of certain, um, like, we have to do some sort of thing or, like, face, like, fines and stuff. Hey, everyone has to deal with it, mate. You're not special. I wasn't crazy on what I was talking about. And they tried to write it off and they keep trying to write it off. But the truth is the more and more I'm faithful to, to Christ, the more and more he's gonna keep un, unlocking the blessings. You know, he set it on my heart to build communities, to build farms, to build schools, to build the what? choir. And, but when you do that, you have to be really obedient. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but that wasn't because of Yay. That was because of um, what's his face from Django. He really made that. He made that video. Hey guys, did you not talk <clears> about that, that I'm like song? Really hypersensitive to sound. Jamie you guys Fox, that's it. Going out of the room, please. Um, but we have to be really obedient. You know, like Damn, one I of need the a big training topics right um, now ads. is all of the pedophilia advertisement. And my take what? on that is, you know. There's there's one place in the Bible where it says God sees sin differently, and there's another place where it says, uh, you yeah, know, let me get out what? my phone. I can like really pull yeah. up these. <laughs> Sorry, that's just something. This is such a me thing to do. Oh, welcome back, Monkey Gamer. That's such a me thing to do to bring up bring out the fucking phone. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, yes, I do know what it is. It's it's a statement on how. People try to use his image for advert advertising and stuff, but like, damn it, man! Look at your fucking jacket and how many adverts are on that thing. You're not making the point you think you are. As in the Bible, the general gist, and we'll get back to it. After like the average person. Okay, so all right, all right, all right. Let me bring up something. The average person, right? You know the Van Gogh Van Gogh paintings and all of the um. Oh, fuck, I can't remember that. Uh, po he's a postmodernist uh, artist. Um, he did the Heinz beans, um, like, in different um, different colours. Oh, fuck, I can't remember his name. But, like, you know those protests which are going on where they keep... Uh, these protesters, climate change protesters, keep on, like, throwing shit at art. And the average person doesn't get that. But it gets attention. 
So, you know, like I'm on the fence there whether I'd, whether I, and you know what, fuck it, I, I am, I am all for protesting in that manner. Being annoying is such a good way to protest. I'm all for it. But yeah, like, hey, I think the best comment, y'all, y'all remember when, like, the worst thing Kanye had done that we knew about, uh, or that we, okay, so he's always, he's always been an admirer of Hitler, like, but, like, people hadn't confirmed it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, but, like... The worst thing that people knew Kanye West for, at Kanye at the time, sorry, yeah, I, I keep on using his dead name, and I'm sorry. Like, no matter how awful a person is, or their views, there's still no excuse to dead name them. And, like, I'm not even joking, I, I really need to be better with that. But, yeah, uh, Ye, the worst thing Ye did was, like, the in, interrupt um taylor swift that's the worst thing that he was known for now it's just like whoa man whoa whoa apparently he said he wants to burn the republican party yeah, and damage trump because he feels but milo is a grifter and has always been a grifter wherever the money is he he will he will uh, kanye uh, yay is bleeding money right now and he and he is vulnerable to grifters basically. He doesn't realize that he's gone from his handlers to grifters. Um, he's never been provably an avowed, uh, I, I wouldn't call him a fascist, I just, all right, where is it? Uh, there was a really good, um, a really good Thing. Hold on, I'm gonna move this. I, I'm holding this in window capture, so so like you can't actually can't actually tell which um a website I'm watching this on right now, because you know reasons. Um, but where are you? I don't know if I'm already um subscribe to them and if i'm not if i'm not following them already then ew bosh yuck where's you yeah you botnik if Ka if kanye oh dang it this is the best take if kanye isn't proof enough for you that without class consciousness uh class analysis anyone from any background can become a fascist a fascist a fascist um i don't know what will but yeah botnik. am i following you yeah yeah, everyone, um, yeah, definitely follow Yubotnik, um, you, you, oh, sorry, Yugopnik, um, based videos, really interesting, Lo big lug, yeah, fashionista, fa fa yeah, fashionista, <laughs> the devil wears Prada, <laughs> alright, yeah, because I, I'm just, I'm just a little bit, um, I'm just a little bit sussy about um, whether, like, I, I could get in trouble for uh, streaming this. So, yeah. If, if y'all find out and know, just tell me. And we'll figure out another way. The five minute break Prada is socialism! You have to, uh, I love it. Stay strict to everything and remove as much. And, okay, and, and I just do want to call out right now. Everyone... It has been so fucking tempting to make jokes about, or like make clickbait titles saying like, whoa, insane, yay, crazy, yay. Um, like even the newspaper articles, like TMZ did a video, it has done like a news, uh, news TMZ, whatever that fucking calls, if you call that news, um, like making allusions to him having a mental breakdown stuff like that mental health does not cause racism it does not cause anti-semitism stop dragging down people with bipolar into this shit it's not it's not okay in my opinion to make fun of someone's mental health going through this stuff like, if you're going to raise the issue of mental health, I 
damn well hope you you address the issue that we have two people on the screen right now who are being exploited for their mental problems right oh sorry three people I don't know I don't know about uh, I, I don't know about this cunt uh, this cunt is just a cunt um, actually that's a good point it's a good point I just just want to remind everyone um, of this so yeah a obligatory response to um, uh, Nazis you know, I mean, like, I may or may not be referring to any Nazis in particular. I'd not part of, This is just something that you do in Minecraft, all right? This is what Nazis... What you do with Nazis. Okay. Now, that is the only correct thing to do in Minecraft and Nazis. Uh, just wanted to show that. Just, just since, just since, yeah. I need to do a bigger compilation. If people, hey, hey, y'all, if you want to link uh, different videos of Nazis being punched in Minecraft, uh, in like the um, media, whatever media channel in the um, in the Discord, I would love to do a super cut of that. That honestly, honestly, the Wolfenstein Beth Bethesda's Wolfenstein advertising campaign, mwah, I love it. It was gorgeous. Anyway, let's. Uh, Let's get back to this stuff. I know, right? I know, right? Freezing player, welcome back. We we need to debate. We need to debate. Like I, I think I think that that would be. I think what we were talking about um, the other day about the uh, Chinese stuff. Like that's worth a debate because you know, I think that it would be a good a good thing to bring up the like i think talking about the protest is important and also like met my pushback against the thing but i think it would be fun and i think people would get gain entertainment for that <laughs> i i'm i'm it's complicated i'm sorry uh, this is the most annoying thing about me is that um i i i i it's new to me it's a nuanced perspective Aren't I Aussie? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, even though like China is one of our best like economic allies, I fucking it's fucking insane. I'm actually not anti anti Russia. My favorite my favorite 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 prime minister was Go uh, Gough Whitlam, who uh, paved the way for um uh, paved the way for Chinese um, trade, like so. But yeah, um, when it comes to China, I think that. I, I think that uh, the anti-mandate protesters, I regard them with the same the same um, raised eyebrow that I uh, regard the ones over here. Um, but I, I, I'm willing to criticize China for its uh, treatment of uh, protesters. But yeah. Oh yeah, if it can, it will. Where, where, where everybody, where, where, where everybody, Australia is everybody, everybody else's um, butt bitch. Seriously. Whoever's got the money, we're just, we're just, we're just, mm, we, we love it, we love it. If, the, if that, if that dick is coated with, like, a nice coating of money, of foreign, foreign money, ah, we, we suck, we suck on that tape. Much sand as possible in order to... But yeah, freezing player, if, if it's a, if it's a debate, especially on the Crucible, I'll take a, um, more extreme, uh, standpoint for, you know, for the... For, for for the for the for entertainment like that's what i care about with debates is like whether people enjoy themselves <laughs> yeah 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 and i want to debate that that i think that'd be great but anyway let's watch let's watch this this insane sure, thing and when people look at pornography and i did it i i did the thing i said insane and i'm sorry like 
I keep on using the wrong name. I keep on making fun. I keep on using ableism. And I know that sounds SJW. It's just because I want to be better. I want to be better. Me. I'm not, in, I'm not, this is, if you, if you're angry at me trying to better myself, go, go get angry at a vegan for not eating meat or something. Jeez. Grown man is looking at a grown woman have sex. Oh, yeah. What's his, what's you're his porn take? looking at someone's daughter, and you're looking at a... Honestly, like, porn... <laughs> Evil! A lot of times, someone that is the product of pedophilia. Okay. So people will engage in going to strip club filia. Okay, sorry, I need to go back this. ...in order to serve God. Like, I knew, I knew after seeing that one clip... And we'll see it, and everyone knows what clip I'm talking about, that this interview would have more than that. And I, I, I wanted to see it all. I want to see it and all. And when people look at pornography, when, a, okay. when you, a grown man is looking at a grown woman have sex on camera, you're still looking at someone's daughter, and you're looking at a lot... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm someone's daughter. What the fuck? Yay, what are you gonna do when, like, your kids start dating? Are you gonna start thinking about who they're dating fucking your kids? What the fuck? That's such a weird-ass take. Oh, man. If y'all are thinking about, like, how people were once kids when you're watching porn, I think that's a you problem. I think that's a yay problem. The time someone... That is the product of pedophilia. So people will what? engage in going to strip clubs or looking at pornography, but then they the moral compass is like, oh my God, look at the pedophiles. But in a way, anybody who looks at pornography is a form of a uh, of a pedophile also. Let's let's bank it all in. It's very simple. We're not Freezing play, what are you talking about? Is this you're calling this a based porn take? Every woman yeah, what are, and and again and again I'm going I'm going to um like as far as those kids are being sexualized more and due to it more to us due to us being desensitized. Freezing play, I've heard that being said a lot, but I have never seen hard evidence of it. Do you think we'll probably see a gay be obnoxiously loud and cringy, or will he just stop one day? No, I don't think he will stop, um, because it makes it makes other people money. Um, unfortunately, uh, like unfortunately for for Ye, other people are making money from his um, from his decisions right now. Um, what the what's fifty one fifty? What's fifty one fifty? Oh yeah, Nick Fuentes. Fuentes. Uh, hmm. As long as you're not advocating for that, Isham, like, let's let's not av like let's let's talk. Let, let's just keep this to my Christian Minecraft server, okay? Speaking of Christian Minecraft server, my um, nephew's school actually has a Christian Minecraft server, and I just find that fact to be quite hilarious and, like, funny. Up until the point where I realized just how hard they go with the indoctrination. It's like, you know, I'm Christian and stuff, but, like, they really do go uncomfortably hard with it. Yeah, yeah, it, in... Um, in, in, here, over here, it's, uh, I guess that the easiest one would be the, the British, uh, sectioned. Unless he gets sectioned. But I don't think, I just think, I just, just, I just think that, like, it's not something that anyone has any control over. Yeah. And, no, he's not going to get institutionalized. Understand, like... This is, like I said yesterday about that guy who was talking conspiracy theories and all he was doing was describing capitalism working as it does without the need for anyone to do anything conspiratorial. Um, as long as Kanye is making people money, uh, he will be given a platform to do so. That That's how capitalism works. 
Babylon B. Oh, fucking hell. Like, how... Babylon B turning on you is like a toddler telling you that they'll beat you up. Like, the Babylon... What has the Babylon B got? Boomer jokes. That's it. Babylon B can suck my taint. We're not going to be talking about all this moral code and these standards right here. It's either Christ mm. said so or Christ said no. Wait, okay, powerful 50 information. Seconds. I totally Fucking agree with no. you. Back in 60 seconds, to join over 400 radio stations. Nick Fuentes yeah. in studio. Everybody, tell everybody you know, tune in now. Infowars.com forward slash show. Let's break the... I want to know who that other, that other black guy that they get on later is. Like, because he just reminds me of um, the people that um, Tim Heidecker exploits. Internet today. Stay with us. Well, make no mistake, this Thursday, December 1st, 2022 broadcast is beyond the Twilight Zone because truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah, I mean, like, they call themselves parody, but they're really not. <laughs> they're really not a parody. They're just, like, not, like, it, it's literally the same as me making bad jokes and, like, the, the, the irony is the fact that I told a bad joke. The difference is, I tell those jokes in a context where it would be ridiculous for me to actually say those jokes. The Babylon Bee is just saying what they're saying out loud and saying that that's the joke. When it's not actually a joke. But the Onion, the Onion does parody people, it, it, but, um, like, it, you know, there's some hit and miss. It's like a, it's like when you're looking at irony and the way that it goes that goes in full in full circle. Babylon B doesn't even go like one step towards irony. They just say the thing out loud, and laugh. And the joke is that everyone says that they've said the thing out loud. It, it, it's it's boomers that don't understand irony, and think that the joke is bec is the fact that it's a bad joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Maybe more controversial than Alex Jones or Donald Trump now. I mean, there's we're about the most controversial people in the world. And obviously the most attacked and demonized. He's here. Nick Fuentes is here as well. America. I, but I don't understand, like, who's attacking Ye, really? Like, who's actually attacked Ye? Like... Yeah, TMC does... Uh, like, people... The, the worst people have done is, like, ableist, ableism towards him, right? Wait, do you think I'm attacking Ye right now? You think that, like, this reaction is, is me attacking him? I guess, I guess if you put it, put that there, like, uh, possibly, I guess, but, um, I, I guess, like, my response is cry me a cry me a fucking river millionaire. Uh, I mean, like the 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 black community has always um, uh, praised his music, like and like people who are into rap, like just absolutely praise him as a creator. So there is there is that. Um, I, I, I'm not into that kind of music style, so I missed all of that uh, stuff, but, like, like, yeah, he, he, he makes some shitty, he's made some shitty choices, but it's important just to remember that uh, being bipolar doesn't make you a uh, anti-Semitic shithead. <laughs> First, we're going to have Ali Alexander on, Owen Schroyer. This thing's going to go for the next three-plus hours, as long as, as long as Ye wants to go. You, some stations don't carry the first five, but you just dropped some bombs that I totally agree that are huge, Ye. So recap that and continue on, sir. Okay, so I looked this up. It's about sin. That's what we're going to talk about, sin today, and how we need to do everything that we can. We're, we're imperfect, but to, flee, to free ourselves of sin and repent for sin throughout the day, at night, and in the morning. So right here, the Bible says right here, I'm, I know I'm going to do a um, Corinthians 2, like Trump, you know, new, new Christian kind of reading of this. So bear with me. I love Jesus, uh, but I'm not the most, you know, experienced Christian. And it says, the book of Proverbs um, 
616-19. I'm sure that's the wrong way to read it. It's okay. You got uh, the floor. Okay. Identify seven things that God hates, although there are not any punishments prescribed for those. Scripture clearly indicates that God does view sin differently and that he prescribed, he, he proscribed, he prescribed a different punishment for sin depending upon its se severity. Now watch this one. It says, where the, the phrase all sins are equal in the eyes of God comes from. As far as I can tell, the most common argument for the belief that all sins are created equal comes from the book of James 2.10. It states, for whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one I, point... I it just bothers me, like, um, a little bit when people go into, like, biblical readings, they say something that could mean what they're trying to say, and then they just move, they jump to it a little bit. I don't know. I, I, I he's trying to say, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. He, it'll make sense he's later, I'm sure. guilty of breaking all of it. Now, I'm a big fan of Steve Jobs. Even though he did create Apple... And if you notice, the logo of Apple is actually the fall of man. The forbidden fruit. The bitten apple, right? Yeah. So we yeah. Do yeah. Yes. Like that. That. That was the. That was the joke from the start. That was the point of it. Like, Get yeah. into you know what what social media has done to families and all that. We can. We got three hours, what? right? No, 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 no. Fa face. You're thinking about Facebook. Facebook, not Apple. Apple didn't. Apple didn't make the social media platform. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure you could probably make an argument for um, Apple having something to do with the propagation of it, uh, except I accepting like sec our, certain uh, um, our, social media <laughs> platforms. I mean, Apple has definitely affected the popularity of alter alternative uh, media platforms. You know, like Parler. Oh, yeah, that Harvester Drainer Chrome. Oh my gosh, by the way, found the most amazing. Oh, so, I didn't find this. Mr. Beard just did a brand new video, right? Um, uh, talking about Gaia um, and Demi Lovato, like, um, friggin' doing a, do, doing a uh, review of that, but like, amazing. It's some amazing stuff. Oh, wow. Just need to get there. American inventors like Disney and Hughes and Steve Jobs, the way they ran their companies and invented things that changed the world. And the way Steve ran his company was his version of a sinless office. Everyone had to be so meticulous to be able to take what was 10 things at one time and make and put it in the palm of our hand. Think about an iPhone. It's your facts. It's your email it's your phone and now it's a thousand things yeah it's your camera it's your uh your flashlight yeah it's like a thousand things in it <clears throat> but he had to have his army go in with a sinless approach and right now you know gideon called god called gideon to make an army the 300 the real 300 not the movie version that were all Wait, did he just like um, conflate Gideon with? Um, so Gideon was a um, a uh, the, the story of Gideon was a story of faith uh, in the Bible. Gideon um, basically tested God uh, three times, I believe, um, and every time uh, God uh, allowed him to do that. But like, that has nothing to do with the Spartans. The real three hundred. No. <sighs> Dude, Kanye, Kanye, 300 is, uh, is, is, was the Spartans that, um, practiced institutionalized pedophilia. Um, Gideon used, uh, the power of God to blind his enemies in order to, like, win that battle, and the Spartans didn't actually win the, that battle, and it wasn't even 300 people, like, 300 was a graphic novel representation of a ancient, uh, possibly mythical battle that we don't have a lot of information about. Focused on, uh, serving this mission at the time, so we have... What's a fax machine? We have a mission right now to save our families from social media, from Zionist control, and... Boop. 
Should we put like a, uh, a you know what? I'm gonna do it. Hold on a second. Um, which is in text. Let's do it. All right. Uh, no, that's the wrong text. No, where's my master one? Who's that? Sorry, guys. I just paste a duplicate here. Rename you to counter. Sorry, is it 16 pigs? There we go. Antisemitism counter is at one. Let's see how far we can get to it. How, how many we can get through by the end of this interview. What do you reckon? Any guesses? Any, any, anyone want to put some predictions in here? bring Jesus Christ back to the forefront. 69. And we're nice. protected. You know, I don't have security. My security is the angels. My security Oh. I mean like we all we all know Milo definitely wants it. Like Milo Milo Ah. Haha. -ha. Um that's my trick to stop it from doing the thing uh but like uh milo milo has been speculating on um kanye's uh, sexuality for years like he obviously wants him uh, is the fact that i didn't load up he wants that divorce dad pornography last night and i said this addiction is gonna have to flee from me you know this addiction since i was five years old that has destroyed my my mom and my dad's family that destroyed my family like when i take full accountability for the destruction like of my marriage when i when i i'll, I'll point at the liberals and say you took my wife from me you know what took my wife from me the fact that i was what's that fucking video person, going on there it, i felt like it wasn't enough i felt like i still needed to look at pornography but wait what what do you mean like blame why why does why do these people always blame everyone but themselves for the destruction of their own marriages like they can't handle the fact that they fucked up at the end of the day that's what this is they can't handle it yeah you you fucked up you fucked up and you found out at the end of the day you fucked up you found out Yeah. You wonder if it's a Jay-Z music video? Possibly. Wait, this one. No, no, I know this video. I just don't know why it's coming up. In some way, I'd say to her... It's an old stop one. Stop making these images. Stop breaking the internet. You know, that original term comes from... Yeah, so basically the same thing that people used to do about new with newspapers. My ex-wife... And then before that, books. And then before that, something else. I guess, you know, same shit every 10 years actually having a nude photo that i didn't know about that someone used her and put her on a magazine but there's somewhere where she's like well if my husband is looking at this i still want to be like the girls that are doing this and this becomes people reliving the traumas pushing the addiction the pornography industry is not even a big industry it's like uh less than 10 billion dollars right so that means that it's not used for prosperity it's used for disparity it's by the way george arwell wrote 1984 and he'd been the number two guy in psyops for oss
and, and ran propaganda for the British government, but he found out that he didn't like Hitler, but he found out that they were actually manipulated and created him. He didn't like the communists. He'd been one of them. He found out the British intelligence had, had actually created that and done that. And he what? explained in 1984 that pornography is something to destroy families, destroy our... Wait, 1984. Wait. No, he's talking about George Orwell's 1984, but that's not how... 1984 was 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 a criticism of authoritarianism, not like actual like non-fiction literature. Our souls and get us to commit. Uh, he wasn't even a big Christian, but 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 get us to debase ourselves so that they can control us. Absolutely, you got alcohol and pornography are these legal drugs. Alcohol is a spirit. I'm gonna we're gonna go into the spirit of alcoolay. Well, 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 let's just go to the facts today. Let's not just even do opinions. And I love how you brought that in because now you got God's warriors coming together. Right now, okay, Nick Fuentes doesn't have a Twitter account. Alex Jones Good. doesn't have a Twitter account. But hey, Good. guess what, Elon? I got a Twitter. And today I'm going to have Nick and Alex tweet from my account. You like that, Ari Emanuel? Um, uh, what? Okay. I'm all about free speech. <laughs> And the greatest threat is those that want to silence us. This is why it comes First Amendment. Yeah. Anybody trying to take your speech is the enemy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's. Uh... I'm sorry, but like, if you're a Nazi, then I will take your I will take your ability to speak however I can in Minecraft. Like, I, I don't I don't give a fuck about your rights. If you're a Nazi, Saws. <laughs> um. I do find it a little bit hypocritical that Elon Musk said that he was purchasing Twitter to create a free speech environment. He says that free speech is the thing that's going to save the West and, and our civilization. But yet he has taken exception to you, Alex, for some seemingly specific reason, maybe personal to him, but definitely not principled. So I think it's time that the people finally demand a real victory here. We've been at war, essentially since Trump came down the golden escalator seven years ago to put America first, to put Christ first, to free the internet and do these kinds of things. And here we are. All did, wait, did, did, uh, did I miss something? Did Trump um, create net neutrality? Did he reinstate net neutrality? I, I was under the assumption that iSpace can still um, discriminate against uh, like the internet speeds so did, did did trump free the internet how did All this, this happen time later and it seems like we've stagnated or in some ways maybe even taken a step back so it's time that people demand we want christ first we want america first we want alex jones back on twitter these are just and reasonable demands notice though he doesn't like talk about the american people like, I would have assumed that, that the people come first. Well, I see it like this, and I want you to be able to elaborate on this, but I don't, I don't want Ye to get his run, because he's got so much to say, and he always Wait, gets cut this? off. But I'm going to try to shut as much, but he, he, we can go four or five hours if you want, but the main show's actually four hours long. I was just hoping for three. We'll, we'll do four hours if, if you guys are up for it. But but but, but here's what I'm saying. I he am ended a up with two. liberal at heart, so I love everybody, and I judge people by who what they do, not what color they are. And then I look at the things you've said, and some of them, out of context, I don't agree with, but compared to a liberal, a modern liberal saying white people are inherently evil and white people are bad because of their skin color, and then that's, that's what the right, ADL Sam. and Southern Poverty Law Center and these leftist groups in Hollywood have pushed. Anything so that something beyond even what Hitler said, but reversing it. Anything that makes corporations money will be supported in law, um, up to the point that it doesn't cause too much, uh, too many problems in um, like real life people's lives. Like, that's, that's how it'll work. That's how it works. ...on to white people, and we're supposed to sit there and accept it, and then Ye comes out and says, hey, you know, I see kind of a mafia running things, and then he's the devil. No, that's bullshit. Sorry. All right, we're going to curse a little bit less on this stuff. Yes, <laughs> yes, Reverend. I'm going to try. Yeah. I'll stop. And the reason... Well, like, like Nick Fuentes is, like, the Groyper shit was nothing. Like, the, my thing is, people aren't even mentioning the fact that he is an actual avowed Nazi. Um. <laughs> okay. No, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Um. <laughs> Good one. I'm not explaining the joke. I refuse.
I, I, I wanted Nick. People have heard from Nick, but he, people haven't heard from Nick with Ye standing right next to him. You know, it's like that's the thing that the oh, he's talking in the third person, the 300, um, in control <laughs> of the media and control. I, of the I don't know what you're talking about. They don't want us to connect to each other. Like my dad said, okay, they say you're an anti Semitic, but they say he's a white supremacist. And he's asking me, well, what's the difference? I said, dad, there is no difference. It's just separation and confusion. They want to separate. Anti Semitism is built upon uh, white supremacy. Um, on the power structures, the same power structures that um, uh, create and uh, perpetuate uh, white supremacy. That, that's what it means. ...and confuse the Christians and make us afraid to stand next to each other. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. We can go talk to Harvey Weinstein. That's what we, Jesus did. Yes, because Jesus... Jesus talked to Harvey Weinstein. Also, also, just remembered something that I need to mention. Uh, just, re not mention, but I, I just need to do a thing. Sorry. I just remembered this. Um, we need to, we need to create a meme. Sorry. Um. Alright, we're doing a meme. I just, I just, it was a fantastic quote from Matt Walsh. Ah, perfect. Control Z. Adding a adding a layer. We're doing a cool thing now. Control Z. Oh, I didn't even see it. So not a rectangle. We're going for a. Circle. Um, that is. Do 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 do. Need shit. Um. Rose tip, if you're looking for, if you don't have Photoshop, you can usually find cool stuff like this. Uh, what you need to do is select color and then transparent, and then you'll actually get PNGs, which will do what you're actually looking for it to do. So, um, da -da -da. I don't know if that's going to work. Copy. Image. I don't think this is. No. Come on. <sighs> it's hard to find. Masking. I need the opposite masking effect though. That is what I'm looking for. But see how you don't get, you don't always get, um, vignette circle. There we go.
All right. Adjustments, black and white. There we go. And then we actually hold on. I want effects. Uh, I want to change the. Uh, Adjustments, levels, no. There's my basic ones, brightness, contrast, yes. Done. Image. Have a size. Percentage two hundred. Okay. Background. Nice black background. All right, now we've got ourselves a nice. A nice template for any Matt Walsh quotes that we want to use. There we go. I'm going to pop that in the uh, server if anyone wants to reuse. Oops. And I'm going to save it. You're welcome. You can all use this Matt Walsh meme template. If you like. Um, do 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 And where's that porn photo? Porn one. Oh, here we go. There we go. Perfection. Now I just wanted to uh, use this to make a, a meme. I uh, make make basically I I I, I heard this in uh, one of his videos, so I thought this would be a. Calibri, fuck Calibri. Let's find ourselves a nice good one. Um, what, what, what font? What, what does anyone have a favorite font? No, that one's too hard to read. Helvetica, huh? Oh, fucking, of course it's Helvetica. Ha ha, suck shit. I don't have Helvetica impact. Old school meme. Ooh, no. Oh, I like this one. Yes. And give, let's give this a nice bit of a, ni a nice sort of like brownish one, so that it like looks all professional for him. There we go. Ah, <sighs> yes. Mm. 
Yep. Perfection. Go. Wonderful. I just wanted to gift you all with that. Because, uh, yeah. Discover I discovered that quote this morning, which was quite funny to me. I find that funny. Ugh. All right, so let's change the capture around. Okay, we're gonna just we can just sort of like live with that in the background for now. Thought that'd be fun. Put an anti send we can it's like every minute. Yeah, pretty much. can save everyone. But if the Zionists can get us so afraid that they're going to do what they've been doing to me, attempting to put me in jail, freeze my accounts, smearing me on the media, you know, all of these things, you know, you put on the whole armor of God and they will not be able to break your spirit. They and by the way, we can do three hours on this subject yeah. and, and you, or you do five hours on it. And, and let's just get it all going now because I want to get into you, everything about your plans to try to bring jobs to America, unifying people, uh, running for president, all those other issues. So I'm not steering us away from that. I'm just saying let's just run with it as far as you guys want to go, and then I want to get into all the other topics that surround things. Oh, beautiful. So where do you want to start? Well, I mean, I would just start with this. There are good people from every group and, 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 and every type of culture, and we, and we all know that. But definitely the left, when it was America defeated Hitler— calls their opposition Hitler when both my hey, done almost died in the Army Air Corps. Both of them almost died. One of them crash landed after a mission and got all broke up. The other one uh, got hit in a German air raid in uh, North Africa, and he'd only done like 18 of his missions, and then he had a concussion, and he was the captain, and then his buddies went up the next day and blew up over Italy. And he was always freaked out. I never really talked about it until he died, but when he died, we read the letters and all the awards he had and stuff and the things he did after that, and then, you know, re-upping and recommitting to the Army Air Corps. So I take it as an offense to have George Soros and people that actually work for Hitler oh, there we go. People, tell me I'm a Nazi when I almost don't exist when my grandfathers went over there. So so the, yeah, i got a lot to say about this as well. It's just, it's just nuanced with the whole thing that's going on. But expanding <laughs> on that... <laughs> yeah, give us, because I want you to go wherever you want. So just, let, let's just have you talk for 10, 15 minutes more before me and, me and, uh, we got a, a lot to hear from Fuentes and he needs to be heard. But yeah, yeah, Alex Jones learned from Tim Paul just to let, fuck it, let, let, uh, Ye speak, otherwise, um, like, you know, he's gonna fuck off. But we want to hear from Ye, go ahead. Well, I, I said with Ali Alexander and Nick Fuentes that we're like the SWAT team of free thought, and I go in with this battle ram at the door, and then they come in with these laser beams and have that information. And we work together as a team. A lot of times in media, they want to 
single out one person and burn them to the core. That is a Zionist approach. And they're asking me to use that same approach. Well, hey, don't say oh. all people, just say oh. specifically the businessmen. And then I go on Lex Freeman and I say specifically, and that's still not enough. They're still taking it too far. Everyone knows and agrees now that it's like a reverse version of American History X, the scene when they put the guy's Wait, head against the curve and Wait, wait, a reverse version would be, like, a black guy curb-stomping a Nazi. Which, in my opinion, based? <laughs> what? The back of it. And now people are like, wait a second, the, the so-called crime doesn't deserve the punishment. What did I, I thought? That's right, you're not Hitler, What's with you're saying laser Nazi. beams of talking about Jewish things is because of um, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene claiming that space Jewish space lasers caused the... Uh, California um, uh, wildfires. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, yeah, I I see I I see good things about Hitler. Also, the Jew. <laughs> How many do I give him for this? This is it. This is the this is the clip. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pay. Crime doesn't deserve the punishment. What did I I thought? Well, that's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler. Also, the Jew. I love everyone, and Jewish people are not gonna tell me you can love, um, you know us. And you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts. And you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good. And I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table. I fucking love this. Like, they cut these two things out, but the whole thing is so much worse. Table. Especially Hitler. How about that one? Ari Emanuel, how you like that one? Hey, Ron, you gonna do anything to fix Chicago? Well, I am worried about the thousands of black folks down in Mother Chicago, but but let me expand on that, because that's a nuanced issue. Yeah. You know, my, 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 my grand... I'm sorry, but Hitler being bad is not a nuanced issue. Fucking hell. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. My father um, grew up in Dallas and from a pretty wealthy family. Also, Hitler was born Christian. Well, I've, I've actually I've studied some of the history on it, but, but it's very interesting. My grandfather. I don't give a fuck. I'm just giving him you know, one for every time he like spoke some gushes German. over Hitler. There's a lot of Germans in Texas. But did you know that he grew up uh, next door to the inventor of air conditioning and the inventor of one of the major inventors of, of refrigeration? And so my... What? So, look, wait, wait, Hitler grew up in Australia? What? She was. Growing up, my grandfather told me the stories about some of the inside baseball and the things that went on. And But later, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to tell you some, some stuff about Hitler that you might not know directly that happened to my people I knew. I, I, I'd love to hear everything because guess what? We don't get to hear it's hidden, even like our truth, the fact that African Americans were in America before the pilgrims. That truth is hidden, that we are actually the Native Americans, or some of us are Native, or the fact that what Kyrie got in trouble is. That's uh, some of the worst fucking Photoshop Jewish ever. Slave boats. Like, and then. Yeah, yeah, no, like, because, because, because Elon Musk, um, did all of the coding and all of the inventing when it comes to Tesla, yeah. Because, because Adolf Hitler was the only person that did anything in the fucking, in fucking Germany. And that, uh, I mean, like, on the other side, like, demonizing Hitler, like, is a very good way to forget about the fact that um, the things that Hitler said had been said for uh, decades before, like, he ever came to power. Right, he wasn't saying, Hitler didn't say anything new. He didn't say anything that wasn't already, like, mainstream. Like, that's what these people are trying to do, make it mainstream so they can have their own fucking Hitler. Holy yeah, shit. Look at Australia. Yeah. They've done some of the genetic typing uh, of the Aborigines there, and they're basically Africans. There you go. You know, so all of these... Well, according to David Icke, if the Nazis were Christian... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Truths. 
And then the current truths about banking, about the government. My favorite thing that I got to say with uh, oh Tim Pool was Rahm Emanuel was right there next to Obama. Jared Kushner was right there next to Trump. What are those two people, those two Zionists, oh, I gave it away, have in common? Uh, Nick, can you pick that up? Yeah, you didn't give anything away. You've been spouting this bullshit. Holy oh, shit. Can expound on that? Absolutely, yeah. You know, and it's interesting because you've been going on these... <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, all right, I've introduced anti-Semitism. <laughs> Fuentes, can you expand on this? Interviews with Lex Friedman and with Tim Pool and Piers Morgan, and they always say, well, don't talk about a group, talk about the individuals. And I would point out, one, it's hypocritical because in the same interview... That's Tim what they Poole all do, said, Sam. Well, wouldn't EA be so great they for all the do black that. vote? You can say the black vote, but you talk about Jewish businessmen, and somehow that's a problem. You can't talk about groups when... What font do you reckon that is? Agency? Bold? How's that? Uh, it's pretty close. Do, 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 no outline. So, yeah, no, it's not that Algerian. Found screen. Condensed. Arial. Let's go with Arial, bold, italic. Yeah, that's better. Center, better pull the center. Okay. Wait, why is there no alignment in the center? Okay, whatever. Okay then. Right. All right, fixed it. It's one, but not the other. The other thing is that there is something baked into the cake in Judaism, which affects how they're brokering these kinds of contracts with entertainers like Ye. If you look at the Talmud, which is a real Jewish holy book or part of the holy book, there's the written uh, Torah, which is the Hebrew Bible. There's the oral Torah, which was written down as the Mishnah and then interpreted in the Talmud. In the Talmud, it says that Jews have to treat Gentiles differently than they treat other Jews. There's all kinds of examples of this. They say that if you accidentally, if a Jew indirectly kills a Gentile, there's nothing even wrong with that. There's nothing morally wrong with that. They say that for a Jew to have sex with a Gentile is comparable to bestiality. They say that the semen of a Gentile 
is like that of horses. They also say that you can't give a gift to a Gentile. A Jew is, is that, not is permitted this true? under the Talmud to I'm give a gift enough. to a Gentile. I don't they're know. not permitted to charge each other interest, but they're encouraged to charge Gentiles interest. What do they say about pedophilia? They say that that's, uh, in some cases, licit. Well, I mean, here's so you're telling me in their holy book, it says it's okay to be pedophiles as long as it's not another Jewish person. That's only it came from Adam. I'm not 100% sure. On uh, that. Well, let me just get this. Let me just get this out front. I believe in free speech, and and I that's why I want you to be here and be able to say whatever you want. Yeah. So 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 everyone's talking about the Hitler stuff, and then just like ignoring that shit. Holy fuck! Jones sitting there saying, "What have I done? I had the president on my show." Yeah. Fucking I'm hell. quite the historian from a lot of multiple Paul Jones, views. yeah, fucking so cry point, me a river, Jones. My nuanced views of this because there are power and there Fuck are mafias you. and there are cliques and there are groups and there is certainly uh, leftist Jews that call everybody Nazis they don't agree with. If you, you don't want open borders or you don't want your guns taken or you don't want to take a shot. The ADL had a meeting last two weeks ago and said, Alex Jones is an agent of evil. He should be taken off the air. He's the devil because he doesn't want you to take four shots. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm sorry, no one- the ADL has never called anyone the devil, that's kind of not really what Jewish people do. Like, you can talk- I guess maybe you can talk- no, fuck you, like, uh, Alex Jones, I'm not going to assume you're talking hyperbole, you literally believe this shit. Doing calling me anti-Semitic, I'm not against groups, I don't get into group politics. Adam, I've got- I'm, I mean, sorry, 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 I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh, Alex. Yes, sir. Um, I've got- the perfect answer for the ADL. They are gonna have to listen up. What we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm in the twilight zone right now. Netanyahu, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to Alex Jones right oh, now? Oh, thanks Nick for the Quintes follow, your boy, your boy Octo. It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Yay. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? What is this? I do, is there something I'm not getting? Is this an American thing? Okay. I had no idea your voice is gonna sound like that, Netanyahu. Why has he got you who? What the fuck is you who? Americans, please, please, uh, I. Oh, you who? I mean, it's an American brand of chocolate fla flavored beverage. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, it is? It's so, so is this just something he's come up with? I'm so confused. Wait, so, so, so it's just literally a play on words. Net, 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 and, oh, net, and you, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay, I get it now. What the fuck? He brought them with him. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Does so you don't like Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> I just... He went from, this motherfucker went from making, like, the most popular music on the planet... to carrot top <laughs> I, I just heard about this guy two weeks ago so it's like the tweet and i thought he had a funny name i heard he's like really into like he's like a super killer and i could die for saying this so in case this is the last time you ever hear from me <laughs> well look 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 look, look. I, I, I... so so it's just just like um it's a funny name 
Holy fucking hell. This is just, that's just the, the lowest form of racism. Holy shit. I'm glad you guys are here. I mean, fuck Netanyahu, but like, seriously. Oh, man, we, can, we, can, we can sit here and upset. All I'm telling you is, <laughs> do you guys realize that the British government created Hitler? Not even Alex Jones found that interesting. Look at him. He just doesn't give a fuck. Oh, shit. That was... And that the was... Milder group put him in power. Still not as scary a stare as, um, as Bobby Kotick. I'm sorry, Bobby Kotick. Bobby Kotick. Let, you, wait for it. No, if there's no contract. He thinks, oh, yeah. The, the, wait, yeah, yeah, they think the British created Hitler. But, like, the British created... Um, the British didn't create Israel, but the British were consulted as to the colonial project that became Israel. So you could make an argument for that, but then, like, saying that the Brit British created Israel... I mean, you could, you could... I mean, like, people say, call Netanyahu, like, uh, like the new Hitler and that, that sort of sh shit. I mean, like, that's kind of cringe, but, like, yeah. Should do an episode on Crash Realty. I sh... I should, you know, not. I should definitely do that. Talk about our, our fucking issues. Go through the emails. Holy fuck, the emails. But yeah, hold on, Bobby Kotick. Bobby, I was looking up Bobby Kotick. I want to. I want to give you a body Bobby, Bobby Kotick car uh, jump scare. Oh fuck! I I hate looking at this guy's eyes. I'm sorry, but like this, like I don't care. I, I don't care if the ADL call um, Alex Jones the literal devil. Look at this image and tell me that this guy isn't a fucking lizard. I, I'm a believer now. I believe in wizards. All right, all right. Get ready for the jump scare. All right. Trigger warning, Bobby Kotick. That's that 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 that's Bobby Kotick is uh, the CEO of Blizzard. I'm pretty sure. Wait, hold on. Was is CEO? Is a CEO of something? Activision. Yeah, Activision CEO, executive officer. Yeah, CEO of Activision Blizzard. Is that the Activision logo? Maybe I don't, I don't know, but like. His eyes are just, like, fucking demonized, I swear, like, <sighs> hell on earth, I swear. And there's something much more sophisticated, and I personally... Oh, also, 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 boo, 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 if you're watching, check out, check out the, um, the meme I made. I made a funny meme. It's, it's, it's on the screen. It's, it's Matt Walsh. It's one of his favorite, it's one of my favorite quotes from Matt Walsh. Rafe is good for business. An actual quote. Uh, think that most Jews are great people, and I and I understand there's a Jewish mafia, and, and they're they're used to demonize anybody <sighs> that promotes freedom. But I don't blame Jews in general for that. And there is a much larger eugenics, transhumanist, scientific elite agenda that's playing off. What uh, about uh, abortion? It's fifty percent of black deaths. There's over fifty. Hey, one of the yeah. papers I had, you're like, why is all? That? You're the director today. It's yeah. fine. The the the, the Margaret Sanger, <laughs> Rockefeller founded Planned Parenthood came out today and said because of your white guilt white people need to give money so we can kill black babies i swear to god it's in my stack if you if i hadn't moved it off the desk i could pull it right up for you why did i have you move it off the desk alex because it's cluttered i'm not bitching i'm just saying everybody asks where's my papers i don't have them there's a oh prop. fucking hell like, oh, look, <laughs> yay mate yay is making alex's bitch <laughs> holy shit we yeah, no, I don't want to see Look that. They, but nothing can be as bad as, as a Bobby Kotick jump scare. They say, white people, help us kill black people for your white guilt. It actually says that. Now, this is... Okay. Okay. It doesn't say that, mate. It, it doesn't I, say I'm that. I'm agreeing with you. Is it a problem with props? We can't. This it is the didn't say that. See, you get your mop. You get your mop. I actually, I'm gonna find. We, are, we already know what the, what ben, Tim Paul, Pim Tool looks like without his beanie. Without his beanie, like it's. You've seen. You please tell me you've seen. Um, uh, Amen. Amen. Animations. Like, 
It's amazing. Because I want to show you this. This is a big... Guys, I said... Can you imagine Kanye without the mask? <gasps> See, this morning, I'm I was just kidding. The tweets, but he pulled it Kanye, Kanye, Kanye looks like a fairly handsome, a handsome guy. So, like, yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it's, it, it, it's it's official Twitter of uh, the eugenics death cult. Talk about Nazis. I mean, beyond... we're, we're, we're gonna have. You know, I just realized that your boy Okto. They put the mask on when he <laughs> he can't put the mask back on, buddy. <laughs> He's trying to put the mask back on. It already fell off, dude. Netanyahu, step out for a second, okay, Alex? Oh, he's gonna go? I'm leaving for now until, until it's another meeting, and then I'm gonna say something. All right. You're not only an artist, you're a comedian. But, but, but Nick, that's what I'm getting at here is, is that... Shame. Bad. <laughs> no more gay jokes. No more gay jokes. You know that it's bad. You know why it's bad. Come on. Is, 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 is that... It's creepy that Milo keeps on trying to f friggin' um, is, is obviously trying to groom Ye. It was a, uh, it just, it doesn't even matter. I, I just, I mean, there's, well, listen, there's fluoride in the water killing us all. They're injecting us with GMO. Oh, here's a question. And I'm not, a, I'm not an apologist for Israel. I'm trying to be balanced here. And I believe in First Amendment. I believe in free speech. I endorse you, say whatever you want. Israel has, other than, other than like Singapore and a few places, the most draconian mRNA injections in the world. They have the highest oh. death rate from the shots. They are literally forcibly injecting them like Joseph Mengele, and Jews are dying in mass in Israel. So if the Jews are the secret group that runs it all, I, 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 and I'm not denying that you know Jews run Hollywood, what I'm saying is... It's the Zionist. Yeah, but, okay, well, why would the Zionist Bing! be killing Jews ding, in, ding. in Israel with the poison shot? Because they work for Satan. They don't work for God. Exactly. So they, they create atmospheres that get... Oh, cool. All right. We're moving into David Icke territory. Um, all right. So you realize that uh, David Icke um, is behind the conspiracy that um, that uh, Jewish people uh, worship the devil? Like, like this is literally what um, he's convinced people to, that that uh, Jewish people are lizard people, basically, um, and they worship the devil. And that um, what I, I believe it's Gnost he David Icke invented this uh, religion called uh, Gnosticism. Um, which uh, is basically like the true religion, and that Christians and Jewish people um, both uh, worship the devil in a literal way. Uh, all of the adrenochrome bullshit is based on blood libel, a very, very, very old, millennia old um, anti-Semitic Jewish conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah, they're taking down their Yaqua tweets. They they are backing the fuck off. Only far right um, reactionaries are making money off this shit. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Um, that these conspiracies are all fucking linked to the every time like one of these conspiracy theories comes up, it'll sound like just crazy shit, but it came from somewhere, and I can guarantee you, ninety nine percent of the time, it came from anti semitism. Yeah, I mean, animations needs to do it. Like, Jews 100%. persecuted so they can control the Jews, so they can kill them. And you just did since it. before just that like done randomly. Soros help round up Jews for Hitler. That's the next level. Boom, we just got. Oh there. my and gosh! They, they, they control the left and the right. They make politics super messy. Like well, I went in to meet with my boy Trump, and the next thing you know, like he he typed. He said, like literally, literally during the tip, we watched the Pim Tool um, episode yesterday, and and Kanye is talking about how he doesn't want to talk about Jewish people. This entire time, he's just like being anti-Semitic. Said fake news went crazy. I'd just like to remind you all that that uh, Kanye West literally said that uh, he admires Hitler. Like, <laughs> and. I, I love it's Trump. out there like every mask is off good Christian American we just want to hold Trump to Christian values and say that's the only way to the White House and if he doesn't do it then I'm gonna have to do it I think that Trump is a more senior president I think I've got some growing to do but I love Jesus then why are you trying to split the vote this it's kind of like David what, does he think that he's going to get leftists all voting for him? Experience, and he was tended to the sheep. But while he was out there, he had to fight bears and tigers. This is the little I know as a baby Christian. Oh, it's true. Yeah. But he was able to beat that giant. And right now, this giant, there's a, there's some cleaning. There's some 
there's some plumbing that we have to do. And that's what I'm doing with my style of art, my style of... Wait, what kind of cleaning, Kanye? It wouldn't be of the ethnic kind, would it? Humor and who I am as a celebrity to say, okay, I've been messed over enough by Jewish businessmen to get to the point to say, I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm not the first person that got mad divorced at MG. Their political opinion. Mad and divorced at MG. Now the common man. If we have you noticed, noticed it? Okay. Like, um, I just realized this. Oh, oh come on. Sorry. Uh, boop. Um, have you, have y'all, uh, noticed that, um, when Pete Davidson was um, was uh, f was fucking um, Kim Kardashian, right? Um, Kanye immediately took the red pill as soon as he fucked up and uh, basically said anti-Semitic stuff, and then as a result of that, lost his money. He started like doubling down on the anti-Semitism. Notice, like Kanye is just full on divorced out energy. Right we now, go, when we go, I don't like the word if. When we go into the White House, it's a us. Oh, right, Kanye, yeah. Specifically, an icon or DeSantis. But it's issues. Yeah, it's it's about the issues in America. Yeah, stay it, there, stay there. Nick Boyd does the studio. This uh -huh. is uncensored, folks. We're going to come back uh, after this break, and, and we're going to come back after the break and play a George Soros compilation of him on NPR. It's only a few minutes. Don't about me. Him on NPR. <laughs> And him on 60 Minutes saying the best time of his life was rounding up and going <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that look of pure frustration on Alex Jones' face is identical. Identical to the look of frustration on the judge's face when, like, he was on the stands. Like, seriously. It's identical. This is amazing. He's like Kanye is like frustrating Alex Jones as much as the uh, judge in his uh, criminal proceedings. That's fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Yay! Never killed any Jews. So I want to know how do I get the ADL to love me? Do I round up Jews in Nazi Germany? Do I get love then? Schwarzenegger said he loved Hitler. They gave him an award. I I'm just saying. I don't like Nazis, and I don't like what some of the mafias are doing either. I like Literally. Hitler. It was actually probably the happen. Wait, why wasn't that clip used? You saw... Wait, wait, that was really short. But why didn't they use this clip? Listen! I don't like what some of the mafias are doing either. I like Hitler. Holy shit. It was just there. It's just there. That's it. That That's just it. The fucking hell, what? Clifford, just, just nonchalantly saying that, I wanna, I'm, 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 I'm fucking Clifford, and yeah. What the fuck? Round up Jews in Nazi Germany, do I get love then? Schwarzenegger said he loved Hitler, they gave him an award. I, I'm just saying, I don't like Nazis, and I don't like what some of the mafias are doing either. I like Hitler. It was actually probably the happiest year All right. Life. That year of German. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> oh, come on. See, this is why I wanted to watch the whole thing. Because I just fucking knew that they would fucking do that. Oh, that 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 gives the that pushes it to 65. Fuck it. Holy shit, dude. Hitler's dead, by the way, dude. It's a very positive experience. It's a, it's he blew his fucking brains out. Like a fucking bitch. Because he couldn't handle the shit that he did in life. He pussed out like a bitch. Couldn't handle the fucking hate. Hitler was a bitch. Strange thing. You know, because you see incredible suffering around you. And the only fucking bad thing about Hitler blowing his brains out was that a black person didn't get to take him out to the curb and stomp his fucking skull in. And, and in fact, you are, you are in considerable danger uh, yourself. But you, you're 14 years old and you don't believe. 
that it can actually touch you. You have a belief in yourself, your belief in your father. It's a very uh, happy-making, exhilarating experience. While hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews were being shipped off to the death camps, George Soros accompanied his phony godfather on his appointed rounds, confiscating property from the Jews. These are pictures from 1944 of what happened to George Soros's friends and neighbors. You're a Hungarian Jew mm -hmm. who escaped the Holocaust mm -hmm. by posing as a, a Christian. Right. And you watched lots of people get shipped off to the death camps. Right. I was 14 years old. And I would say that that's when my character was made. In what way? That one should think ahead, one should understand. Yeah. No, no, they, 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 they absolutely say that um, that the Jewish, they, they claim, and and I'm pretty sure that Kanye doubles down on this as well at some point, um, that um, the Jewish bankers um, uh, funded the Holocaust, which is fucking ridiculous because in Nazi Germany. The Nazis chose what to do with the money, right? So all the banks in Germany had to do what they were fucking told, right? They did not have a choice. So even if there were Jewish people in banking, which the majority of people, Jewish people in banking did not fucking own the banks and still do not own the fucking banks, even if they did, beside the point, being Jewish does not mean that you are a fucking lizard. Fuck off, David Icke. Fuck off, Alex Jones. Um, like, yeah. It's glossed over. Like, so many shit, so much of this is glossed over. Just like the, the Kanye saying, I like Hitler. I didn't realize that uh, he actually said, like, the three those three words out loud. But yeah, fucking hell. And, and anticipate events. Uh, and uh, one... uh, um, Good luck separating the art from the artist. One is threatened. Okay. It was a tremendous threat of evil. I mean, it was a, a very personal experience of evil. My understanding is, is that you went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were uh, his adopted godson. Yes, yes, yes. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property from the Jews. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, that's, that sounds uh, like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for yeah, many, Yeah, I'm not sure what a capo is either. Was it difficult? Uh, not, not, not at all. Not at all. It, uh, maybe as a child, you don't, you don't see the connection. Uh, uh, but it was, it created no, no problem at all. No feeling of guilt. No. For example, that uh, I'm Jewish, uh, and here I am watching these people go. I could just as easily be there. I should be there. None of that. Survivor's well, guilt. Uh, of course, I, uh, I could be on the other side, or I could be the one from whom it, the thing is being taken away. Uh, um, uh, but uh, there was no sense that I shouldn't be there because uh, that was. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, actually, funny way, it's just like in markets that if I weren't there, of course I wasn't doing it, but somebody else would. would yeah. Would... So what? So so what um, he's describing right now is the. Um, it, it's like a self-protecting mentality that uh, you go through when when you're trying to um, deal with the cognitive dissonance of understanding class struggle. Like this is um, yeah. So that so this is basically him saying like you know, it's better that like uh, th there were Nazis that shot children, who rationalized it by saying that if they did not shoot the children, the children would have had a worse experience. It's a rationalization of your horrific circumstances, like it is a trauma response. Soros is describing a trauma response right now. 
And you're going to watch as Alex Jones uses that trauma response to try and convince people that Soros enjoyed confiscating property when he was 14 years old. Yeah, it's another rationalization. It is a trauma response. Like we need to we need to understand that that um, that's the rationalization. It's it's not an excuse. Like he's just that that oh, is the rationalized the trauma so doesn't break down and cry every second. Yeah, yeah. It's a response to coming to a, the co to coming against the cognitive dissonance of the fact that your actions are causing harm, and most people deal with those cognitive dissonance with either a trauma response like this or a uh, thought terminating cliche like you know that's just the way the world works you know those sort of like um things which are meaningless uh, responses to um actual stuff like you know doing that shit was bad but he survived like fuck i i don't really <sighs> all of this is beside the point he wasn't a Nazi. He would have been. He would have died if he hadn't done what he did. Um, and doing what he did doesn't make him some evil uh, Jewish conspiracy lizard. Yeah, yeah. It avoids massive survivor's guilt. Would be taking it away anyhow. You know, was the whether I was there or not. I was only a spectator. The property was being taken away. So I had no role in taking away that property. So I had no sense of guilt. Yeah, I mean, I, I disagree, obviously. Are you I religious? I... No. Do you believe in God? No. All right. Wait, so is My he Jewish then? Wait, wait. Doesn't that mean that you're not... He's an atheist and not Jewish? Wait, I don't understand. Can someone explain this to me? Like, because if someone called me Christian... Like, I grew up in a Baptist church, but I called myself, um, like, atheist. I, I wouldn't be... A, you'd be wrong for calling me a Christian. A, sec a secular Jew? Like, what? I don't understand. Jewish by birth? What, what do you mean? But, like, there's Jewish people all over the fucking planet with, with completely different, like, DNA and genetics. You can't be uh, religious by birth. This doesn't make sense to me. This seems like some sort of weird fucking racist um, biological essentialism. Is this what people actually believe? That's fucking weird. Bring out the skulls. Hey, is to offer the First Amendment, because as long as you're not carrying out violence against someone or asking people to be violent, like the left's ask people to burn down cities and attack Republicans and celebrate a Rand Paul and Scalise being shot and attacked, then you have your free speech. And when the left came out in the last 10 years, and really accelerated the last five, six, it said white people are inherently evil because of the color of their skin, and that somebody that who moved here as a kid from Poland, they're supposed to pay reparations for what? I really the racial shit about it. Did the Jewish, wait, did Jewish people believe it as well? Did Jewish people, um... Do Jewish people consider their ethnicity as a part of it? Because, like, I don't really want to, like, ascribe to that stuff unless it's something that, like, Jewish people themselves, like, uh, uh, ascribe to themselves. Yeah, exactly. Your boy Octo, I don't really, really want to speak to them either. I just find it weird when non-Jewish people are attacking George Soros for being Jewish and then, like, he turns around and says that he doesn't believe in God. It's just like, wait, doesn't that just blow everything out of your world? He doesn't worship anything. So, and you're claiming that he worships Satan. Like, what? <laughs> Basic premises are not fucking working in your argument, mate. People did hundreds of years ago in this country. It's a divide and conquer strategy. I'm not getting into the reparations debate. I'm saying the groups pushing reparations are trying to cause division. And so I've Wait, said what? the most Nazi-like activities I've seen, um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down did a lot of really bad things. But they did good things, too. We're going to stop dissing the What's Nazis all the time. Okay. We're, we're going to get to that. You get, I don't want to get digressed into this, but you, remember I told you a story about my grandfather yeah. growing up in the richest neighborhood in Dallas, and down the street was a famous German-American inventor. And he um, was a first-generation person. He'd come here when he was a little kid on a ship, and he was he held a bunch of the patents on, air, on, on, on refrigeration and air conditioning. And uh, 
my grandfather worked from the time he was about eight years old because he took him under his wing uh, in his little tinkering factory. That, then he had factories in places like Detroit that they actually built the stuff. And my grandfather, the main reason he joined the Army Air Corps, he told me, and he, he didn't tell me a lot about this, he just told me this story, was because he watched that man very quietly once Hitler got power in the 30s suck every dime out of him or he would kill his relatives in Germany. And that guy was blonde-haired and blue-eyed and was as German as, as as you could get, as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or, I know, thought that, that, that most Germans were had dark hair, but, like, is that... Like wrong as as, as Teutonic as, as as Germanic, and the point was my grandfather saw that. So I, I understand you're opposed to other forces, but I don't think then thinking other forces in history that are lionized. That's my personal experience of what my grandfather, uh, Clyde William Hammond, told me. Does that make sense? It, it not totally to me, but uh... is Alex Jones pushing back on anti-Semitism now? Um. It's, and I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. I'm saying like it literally doesn't totally make sense to me. I'm following it. But I, I was just thinking about Satan, that whether it's the Zionists or Hitler, it's not the person. It's Satan using the people that oh, I agree with that. are controlled by demonic forces. But what I'm going to say is the Jewish media has made us feel like the Nazis and Hitler have never offered anything of value to the world. Meanwhile, there's all of these things that are happening. Planned Parenthood is New World Order population eugenics that is happening to this date. I got some uh, jokes here from uh, Owen Benjamin. Fuck? That I want to read about ben Shapiro. Hey, Candace Owens, unplug this robot before he runs his mouth. Um, ben Shapiro's cardio is picking up shackles. Uh, Shapiro can tell how much change is in your pocket just from hearing a jingle. Um, Shapiro is just fuck? mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. Back to you, Alex. <laughs> Nick, you're sitting over there. You want to say something? <laughs> yeah, well, um, I, I agree with Ye. I think that um, when you look at what's going on today, so much of the political landscape happens in the shadow of World War II and the Nazis and Hitler. And I think it requires a little bit of an investigation, an examination of where those values come from. You know, people talk about Nazis and Hitler, but the United States had camps as well. The United States put the Japanese in internment. The United States injected black people with syphilis. Yeah, and and the and you. No, no, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fucking yeah. hell! And this is what uh, this is what. <sighs> Wait, hold on. His face. Hold on. Sorry, I've, I've been I've been um, setting up my uh, keys because because uh, I haven't been working. Hold on. Maybe we can hear the shekels jangling in your pocket. Fucking hell. Who was it? Any ideas? Ah, my apologies. I'm a shitty streamer. But, like, what the fuck? Uh, Shapiro can tell how much change is in your pocket just from hearing a jingle. Yeah, I heard that. Shapiro is just mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. Back to you, Alex. <laughs> Nick, you're sitting over there. You want to say something? <laughs> yeah, well, um, I agree with Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah his, uh, his face is amazing. Like, he is not, he, he is so frustrated. Um, when you look at what's going on today, so much of the political landscape happens in the shadow of World War II and the Nazis and Hitler. And I think it requires a little bit of an investigation. You know what this is? You know what this is? I've seen this in through text before. So, like, I talk about this a bunch. Um, back when the Super Straits were a thing, I used to troll, um, these forums a lot, and I followed them, when they got shut down on Reddit and other places, they all went down the rabbit hole into, like, the Nazi forums, like, the actual neo-Nazi forums, and the actual Nazis hate, um, the 4chan trolls, and... The fe the uh, rad fems, oh uh, Nazis. The 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 rad fems during the super straight mo movement. Um, and when you see these three groups come together, like actual neo Nazis, um, the uh alt 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 light, so Nazi light um four chan trolls and the radical feminists. Like the radical feminists were the first to leave because they realized what what, what they fucking walked into. Um, this, the, the look on 
uh, Alex Jones's face is exactly how I describe the reaction that 4chan has had to realizing that they were absolutely hated by the actual Nazis. You know what I mean? It's just like the reaction of, oh shit, I've stepped into something fucked up. I, I done fucked up. Where those values come from, you know, people talk about Nazis and Hitler, but the United States had camps as well. The United States put the <laughs> Japanese in internment. The United States injected black people with syphilis. Yeah, and and the and you. No, no, I totally agree with you. Yeah, it, the United all... States has Instagram selling pornography to little kids, and they're selling people are are selling it's prostitution rings. Instagram. So is your point? Let he without sin cast the first stone. You're just you, uh, Instagram is a prostitution ring. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That facial expression, amazing. I went 30 days off of Instagram and it was the best part of the fast. Me getting kicked off of Instagram was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, because when they I did go a lot to worse. it, it's like watching it with but the, the syphilis thing was true. Goggles, which is something that uh, Owen, Owen Benjamin, you guys got to pull this up. Dave Chappelle is a hack. And he gets a lot of his jokes from Owen Benjamin. Uh, Dave Chappelle went on a Jewish platform and said, they dropped that nigga. Dave Chappelle said, they dropped that nigga talking about Ye. And he called me Kanye. And I'm supposed to be his friend. Dave Chappelle does not believe in God and does not believe in Jesus. These are the kind of black leaders. That yes. The Zionists yes, Kanye is doing that. Con Kanye. And meanwhile, we want to not curse your Kanye is, um, I don't know why my, um, pause button is uh, taking so long, by the way, it's, like, lagging. Um, Kanye is divorced dad energy, and has been divorced dad energy ever since, like, the, he bro broke up with his uh, wife, like, the entire thing. It's just been, like, this downward spiral of him hating anyone. Yeah. And basically, he's reacting to people, like, yeah. He got kicked off of Instagram... He's going to talk about pornography um, and pedophilia and, and, and attack Instagram. Like, everything he's doing is a reaction uh, to how people have uh, treated him after he makes shitty decisions. Like, really shitty decisions. Walker, but Herschel Walker changed his life for Christ. And he might have had abortions, but he doesn't believe in abortion. Well, so sure, what matters is you, I, I have too. What matters is the, is the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree with Ye. I think that it's time that America has a fearless, visionary leader who serves Christ, who wants to bring the future forth in engineering and theology. I think that when you look at the options that were offered, and I, I said this on my show the other week, and the news said, oh, he supports DeSantis. I said the tr moderate who is Trump... DeSantis? Nobody even knows. It's just somebody that all the, the left are all of a sudden... Well, let me well, raise which, that. Let me which raise one? That. Which Tim Pool tweet? You guys got into this, and, I, and we'll do hours on this. Wait, did, did I cut you off, Nick? I want you to... Let, let him complete his thought. Go ahead. So, <laughs> Trump versus DeSantis will not produce any outcome where America or Jesus what is put bitch. first. Israel is, or rather, DeSantis is mobbed up with Israel and Mossad. Donald Trump, oh, his speech, his announcement was written him. by Jason Miller, who's controlled by foreign interests. If there's a Republican primary between them two and they go up against Biden. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm like to flack. All right, what did you find me? Capture. Capture. Hasanabi. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I think, I think Ye could actually win the presidency. Well, shit. Yeah. Limb. Pim, pim, pim stool. Pim still to uh, to pull our wills later. <sighs> or they go up against Newsom, there is exactly zero chance that we get any kind of regime that's going to deliver the real Nick, change Nick, I got a need. question. If I say something that's provocative towards the Mossad, is that Mossad genistic? Hold on, let's hear from that. 
No! No more puns! No more fucking props! Fuck off, Carrot Talk! <laughs> hey, yay! I'm the head of the Mossad! I'm gonna kill you and take your children away from you! Thanks a lot, Netton. Back to you, Alex. Uh, please turn your phone microphone around, sir. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm definitely uh, overwhelmed here right now. Um, Infowars. Oh my gosh, Alex is fucking seething. Wow, he's just like no, he he fucking obvious. Like, you know how like um, annoyed we all know how annoyed um, how much uh, Alex Jones hates Trump for the way that Trump acts, like and gets in his fucking way, but, like, you worry about how many more Nazis Kanye was creating? Done randomly, think of it this way. Um, if it took Kanye being an absolute fucking tool on the internet, oh, yeah, on the internet, uh, to make someone a Nazi, they were always going to find an excuse to be a Nazi in the first place. So, they, they don't cre he's not creating Nazis, he's just making a community of already existing Nazis come together. And we should pay attention to who supports Yay, obviously, because, you know, that what better way to see the people who would have become Nazis anyway than to uh, look very closely at this situation and make Minecraft um, whitelists. <laughs> Tomorrow's news today. Um, listen, all I'm trying to get through here is I believe every group should be able I to be switched his name to Netten. I dropped the uh, the. Yay Make lemonade, is all I'm saying. Make lemonade. Don't worry about shit that you have no control over in the first place. Um, look, make, make lemonade. Just just get, get your Minecraft whitelists together. That's all I have to say. Um, you can see people who are supporting Yay now, and you can turn around and say, yeah, I know what you are. I know what you are. Um, I don't think it's a positive thing, your boy Octo. Like, at the end of the day, the creation of uh, communities around um, hate groups does increase the amount of violence and make it easier for um, uh, fascism to uh, overtake government. Um, but what I'm saying is we as leftists need to become proactive in using what we know about fascism to uh, create... Um, create, like, better plans for how to act in the future. You know? And don't wait for the Minecraft server management government managers of the Minecraft server to come and fix the problem. Yahoo! So we didn't... I disavow violence against anyone, including Nazis. This is just a comedic section talking about Minecraft moderation. Do not create, definitely do not write lists of people who are sending positive messages about fascism. Definitely do not look up information about these people, learn who they are and where they are. Definitely do not post this stuff online. Definitely do not incite violence against people, even if they are Nazis. I disavow. Definitely don't do these things. <clears throat> hey, not anonymous. What's going on? We're watching some crazy, some. Oh, I almost did it again. And some interesting stuff. Yeah, make sure that your Minecraft server is tight. I have to. I was tired of picking up the Yahoo and the Netting, so. For now, he's just natting. I know some people call him BB. I know some of you call him Yahoo, but we're gonna call him Natten. What you want, Natten? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm gonna say you're crazy. I'm gonna take your, your family away from you. This guy wrote um, some banger tracks. Hey, yo, 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 you Nazis. Um, clown world? How are you gonna do you like this? Oh no, dude! Come on, camera, switch back to Alex Jones, please. I want to see Alex Jones' I face. You, yet. you cannot cause free thought. We have to control the history books. We have to control the banks. And we
I mean, let's think about let let let's let's be honest about this. Not anonymous. Like, it's not surprised that um people that um black celebrities turn towards um anti-Semitism because like that's what like culture and society pushes everyone towards. Um, like anti-semitism is baked into white supremacy as is like <clears throat> racism and and um anti-lgbtqia plus um values like all of this is like baked into success like success within a white supremacist society depends on your ability to be a certain level of anti-semitic when you get up to the top like when your culture has been completely erased uh, by white people, um, you try and create culture uh, mimicking white people. Um, and it's the fault of white people, not black people. I just want to put that out there. We have to go and kill people. Also, we're in the pedophilia. Ha, ha, ha. So, and in a little while, hopefully you're going to take the mask off, because this is this actually yay here? <laughs> Folks, is this uh, the mask is coming off? A little there are no racist non anti Semites <laughs> and racists who are even Jewish. I mean, I know a lot about Broadway racists, and Broadway was Jewish, the same for just eight million. Yeah, this is what's the confusion for me because it, it has to do with like ethnic Jewish people, which I don't quite understand because, like, I don't know, like, cultures around the world are different and it just doesn't seem like there's there would be a cohesive thing there, but. That's just me showing my own ignorance at the end of the day. Just don't be anti-Semitic. Uh, NOI, NOI, what was that? Um, what does that stand for again? Uh, it's an arc. It's am uh, I almost a non-reaction, near reactionary response to white nationalism using Jews as a villain foil? Yeah, it's it's just like um, it's just like um, Luna Oi is the left's favorite punching bag, right? That's what Jewish people are. It would, but like since forever. To, uh, have a discussion about this, but, but I mean, seriously, you have the globalists pushing a poison shot that's already killed 20 million people that they admit doesn't bring work. out the, you're the bad skulls guy for criticizing a group. What I'm saying is, when the left said white people are inherently bad because they're white the last six, seven years, they opened the gates up. So, what do they expect? It's wrong, in my view, to say any group is inherently bad or has these traits or whatever. We should judge the individual, but it, 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 it's wrong for the ADL to have. A Luna Oi. Luna Oi is a um, Marxist Leninist uh, who she 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 is Vietnamese. English is her second language, and she talks about um, uh, she talks about Vietnam. She criticizes America and uh, left white, um, normally cishet uh, people, cishet males, uh, but also sometimes white trans people and sometimes white women. Often it's usually white people that um uh like to um like call her a tanky and um say that she's lying about stuff and then they bring up absolutely zero receipts they just hate her because she's vietnamese basically is the only thing that i can surmise from the whole situation do you know it can be a religion related to being almost jewish in your ideas you're still ethnically jewish the synagogue will take you to take you israel will give you citizenship yeah it's um really weird <clears throat> but yeah, like, yeah, a lot of, I, I, I should probably say leftists, it's a punching bag of the left, but like, I'm always looking to my right, looking, I, I'm always squinting, like, off to my right at a lot of these creators, to be honest. What are very racial policies. The ADL is played out, nobody knows who the ADL are, stop giving them attention, nobody cares about the ADL, ADL shut well, up. they run all the, all the censorship and everything. They don't run anything, they're played out, we run the streets. I, I, well, I'm singling out the ADL. So well, that's that's we don't know. Who <laughs> are. Mm. Yeah, people hate her because she because she um she's not um a cishet white person talking about um criticizing America. You're only allowed to criticize America when you look like me. Oh, well. Boom. 
Boom. Yeah, yeah. He he made Tim Pool look like a uh, milk toast a uh, milk toast centrist again. And now he's making Alex Jones look less like a Nazi. It's hilarious. No one in high school knew what the word anti-Semitic was until uh, Ye made it popular. No, what? I, I, I hear you. It's what? Talk about the title. Are you fucking uh, Nick, kidding me, dude? Him? Are you fucking kidding me? He's fucking... Not only is he claiming that he invented the word anti-Semitism, or, like, basically made it popular... He's saying that he's making anti-Semitism popular. What the fuck, dude? <clears throat> the only people making money out of this are sitting next to you at the table. You're losing everything while everyone else is leeching off of you. I don't know. I don't know. And the net is amazing. Uh, yeah, is just, I just, just want to jump amazing. in and say that, um, you know, I, I don't think Ye and or I are saying that any group is particularly bad or the Jews as a group are bad, but there are Jewish practices that are based on Jewish law. And there is clearly some kind of a Jewish mafia. I'll give you a perfect example. It was Ari Emanuel of WME that called for total boycott on Ye. Ari Emanuel's two brothers are Zeke Emanuel, who is the architect of Obamacare in the Obama White House, and his other brother is Rahm Emanuel, who is the chief of staff for Obama and the mayor of Chicago. Their father, Benjamin Emanuel, was part of the Ergun, which was a you Zionist terrorist group in the 1940s. Or no. The definition of anti-Semitism, according to the State Department, is... If you say Jews have any allegiance to Israel, it's anti-Semitic. If you say that Jews have any kind of conspiratorial influence in America, it's anti-Semitic. So yes. we're supposed to believe that if Rom picks up the <coughs> well, phone yeah. and gets... Well, yes, yeah. Um, Fuentes, you just perfectly described an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. And then it's just like, oh no, it's anti-Semitic to say the anti-Semitic thing? Y yes. Y yes, it is. Rahm Emanuel, I am so confused now. I feel like I'm deviating. On a call with Zeke and Ari, and they talk about their jobs, which are running Hollywood and running the Obama White House, a conspiracy. If, we're, if we acknowledge that happens, we're, we're called anti-Semitic. But it's the truth. It's the truth that they make those calls. And it doesn't mean that every Jewish person is in on it. There are good Jews like Darren Beatty and Laura Loomer. And, you know, there are lots of um, fine people. Let's have people. Laura Loomer call in. Also, it's like there's Jewish people that are basically hiding me under their floorboards right now, under their wooden floors. It's like a reverse version of the Holocaust. Because there's Jewish stop. people that saw how I was treated, and they're like, this is wrong. This guy just gave an opinion. Fucking stop. I didn't cause any harm. I didn't harm anyone. I, all I said is, and I spelled it wrong because I was drinking alcohol, and we see the Bible says you can drink, but the king should not drink, right? And I shouldn't have been drinking. I shouldn't have said death con. That was a $2 billion tweet. Basically, huh. <laughs> I know. I know you know about uh, getting sued. Uh, I, I hear you. So, 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 so let's expand. L l yeah, that's also drinking. So, so let's expand on this. What you say is is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You didn't kill anybody. You're simply here saying this, and you're being demonized and attacked, and you're saying that that is that is hypocritical. But well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. George Soros admits he went around rounding up Jews who thought they were going to be protected, in stole all their fairness, money, and um, the Nazis. Shapiro went after Kanye and Trump for association with Kanye on Twitter. Well, yeah, of course. The only thing that, um, the only, like, uh, Shapiro has no choice but to, um, to talk, to speak up against Kanye because he's, Kanye is literally saying that he likes Hitler, like, right now. That, that, that's where it's gotten to. What my point is, is that that's what the left does. They hide behind black people. They hide behind Jews. They hide behind groups. What the fuck do you think Nick Fuentes is doing right now? Fuck. Holy shit. This is just nothing. Nothing if not um, projection. This is, this is literally just projection. Oh, moly and they use racial politics to control and so i think that's the most important thing is to understand that we can all come together under christ also they blackmail okay go ahead about the christ thing i want to hear this no we can just I'm, I'm just saying i mean i don't hate anybody because of their religion or, or their background and there's great people from every organization and i think george soros can come to christ it is a possibility that he can convert and come to christ 
Would you meet with George Soros if we wanted to meet with you? Absolutely. I would meet with anyone. That's the whole thing. Laura, we're live. What's up? This is Laura Loomer. Hey. I, I, I'm watching live. I, I saw you. Wait, just... what? Take it back a few seconds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was uh, doing story stuff. I said there's a possibility that he can convert and important thing is to understand that we can all come together under Christ. Also, they blackmail. Okay, go ahead about the Christ thing. I want to hear this. No, we can just, I'm just saying, I mean, I don't hate anybody because of their religion or, or their background. And there's great people from every organization. And I think George Soros can come to Christ. It is a possibility that he can convert and come to Christ. I just, oh, hold on. I want to, I, I need to get this. I, think I need to. George Soros. Oh, so close. Hold on. I, I will get this. Or, or their background and there's great people from every organization and i think yeah yeah that George... yeah <laughs> that was it that's the face that's the face that's the face of this is as close as he's coming to a fucking um thing hold on but soros can come to christ it is a possibility that he can convert and come to christ would you meet with george soros if we wanted to meet with you Absolutely. I would meet with anyone. That's the whole thing. Laura, we're live. What's up? This is Laura Loomer. Hey. I, I, I'm watching live. I, I saw you just said that you wanted me to call in, so I'm calling in. Is he fucking wearing sunglasses under his mask? I think he's wearing sunglasses under his mask. Holy shit. And people used to make fun of Bono. Well, how does how she have your number? Well, she called me because she had some concerns about Milo running my campaign. No, that's great. So here's the deal. Can we, we've got Laura Loomer's number. Can we call her on Skype or, or Zoom? Can we actually put her on the show? Laura, you're on via speakerphone. Uh, can, can you come on via Maybe. Skype or via phone right now? Yeah, I can't, I can't do video right now, but I could do, uh, I could do audio. And I, I texted your producer. Laura, we're gonna call you right now. We're gonna put you on air in two minutes. Wait, 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 wait. So Laura Luma was fucking watching this. Laura Luma, wait, 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 wait. wait. I need to remind myself of uh, who Laura Luma is. Ugh, Americans, I'm sorry, Americans. Like you're just not as relevant to like me as you think that you are. <laughs> Soz, uh, not Soz, but uh, uh, who are we up to? Laura Luma. Is this person? Is she not even on on Twitter? The one got banned for shooting at ships. She shot at ships? That was an amazing shot. Holy shit. She looks like, um... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you know you know what? I, I, I can't remember his... his uh, what is it? Yeah, that's who she looks like. What's that? Whatever his name is. What is his name? Fuck. Can't remember his name. <laughs> you can fix that. Tom Atkins. Yeah, Robert Z Zadar. She looks like Robert Z Zadar. She's got his chin. You see it? That's pretty close. I think. I think. I think. I think I'm doing pretty well for it. Yep. Rubber it up. She's definitely got to be related, right? Anyway, who is she? News. Ah. News, news, news. Kanye West urges Lola to call it to the He likes Hitler again, stepping around 
Everything everything that's coming up is Kanye West. He's just fucking... Oh, she was banned from Twitter. She was banned... So far-right activist... Uh, far-right activist Laura Lynn was one of the controversial figures thought to be running in the running to have their quit tw Twitter accounts reinstated. Or more like Twitter. Ah! Um, but why was she... Anti-Muslim extremist and conspiracy theorist. Okay. <sighs> Okay, okay, sh yeah, okay. Wait, I, I I am really, I'm gonna be really fucking sorry. Is she practicing uh, Jewish, uh, is, or is she um secular Jewish person? Because anyone who's a pr who's like practicing Jewish person, I don't. Th is is it wrong of me to question why you would? send claim that someone else is pro uh general full mutilation oh thanks for the follow daily blend um after like if you're jewish don't go around telling other people that they're pro genital mutilation when uh, uh fair enough fair enough I guess I, that's what confuses me, I guess. Like, I don't know whether people call them people, say that someone's Jewish, but they don't do the Jewish stuff. And I'm just like, meh. Ah, oh, well. But yeah, it's, that's, that, that's weird to me. That is weird to me that you would make those sorts of things. Like, like Ben Shapiro, like Ben Shapiro. Like, he's like, you know, he talks about be doing the, like the religious Jew Jewish person thing, right? If he talks about child child mutilation, right? I think that that's really cringe because effectively, as part of your religion, is circumcision, which is not medically necessary. It's the same shit. But yeah, let's continue. Don't trash Milo. I, I like Milo. I'll call in right now. Do you didn't say yes? Yeah, they're going to call it. I got to go. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, listen, all I'm trying to say is... Milo's Jewish. I love Milo. Yeah. And uh, you got a little bit of the Hitler fetish going on. It's not a fetish. It's not a fetish. That's a thing, like... <laughs> Sorry, that facial expression is like... Oh, I, oh, says I everything. just love information. They have, uh, they have some documentaries, apparently... Uh, you t why do you talk so much then and not actually listen to anyone else? You don't love information. Like, you won't even listen to Alex Jones's conspiracy theory bullshit. Holy moly. Medical uh, is that it, it there there's no like um proof really when it, about it reducing STDs. Um unfortunately, like there, there there's no like reason to do it unless unless there is medical uh, necessity like as far as as far as uh yeah. That's concerned. It's just, yeah, I just find it cringe to be talking about child mutilate, child genital mutilation when you've got like a, ooh, an enchanted boat. All right, we're going on the enchanted boat somewhere. Uh, Bezos is allowed to put up any documentary, but if a basketball player tweets it, he'll lose his entire career. I think that that's well. That's where I want to go because you've got millions, hundreds of millions of Chinese locked down right now by and Chinese are great people, but their government in that country is the most racist, homogenistic, uh, uh, or, or homogeneous, actually, group there is. And, and all I'm saying is I really care about those Chinese people under lockdown because they want to use that as a model against us. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Done randomly. Don't kink shame. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not on the whole... Hey, 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 Alex Jones, if you're going to kink shame... Um, uh... Like Kanye, what start kink shaming Kanye over his Hitler fetish? We're gonna start kink shaming you more about your rad, uh, your uh, trans chaser fetish. Mm. Whole Jew thing is just is what I'm saying. I don't care if people talk about. It. I believe in free speech. I'm just really worried about the yeah. Oh, um, a shame. Um, penises are like biologically designed to be self cleaning for the most part. Like, um, you should not be um cleaning the your uh, baby at least or uh, toddlers um uh, the inside of their foreskin um the same with um uh 
for the most part with um uh babies with um vaginas you shouldn't be like um you know scrubbing with uh soap under there like you do need to do you do need to oh ben shapiro's politics and uh judaism don't align oh i can answer that abortion um but yeah um you should clean under your under your foot you do you you do need to wash under your foreskin but like that's just like you know to wash out like uh the natural cleaning agents that um get a little bit gunked up it's just like brushing your teeth really but you don't use soap hygiene wise like dicks are pretty clean same with uh vaginas really um but you should always give it a wash before having sexual in intercourse because um, it's usually in the um, gunked up stuff uh, that uh, most of the bacteria is. Um, well, yeah. Well, I mean, like the when it comes when it comes to Ben Shapiro, his anti-abortion stance is uh, not uh, congruent with his um, Orthodox Judaism uh, because Orthodox uh, Judaism um, supports. Um, well, it, Judaism, Judaism uh, supports um, abortion as long as it's used to control women's bodies. Ban from interviews on the Women Daily Wire. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised, but like, <gasps> freedom of speech! Because the Daily Wire is a government organization, of course. Forced injections, world government, 5G, uh, the open borders, the collapsing currencies, war with Russia. What do you think? I don't have all of that information. I have the information that two days ago I thought I was going to be put in prison because my accounts are frozen. No, I, I, I get it. You're in Hollywood. In the like, keep, keep in mind that the accounts he's talking about that are frozen were business accounts that um, were related to his uh, contracts with um, Adidas. Also, Americans, why do you call it Adidas? Why do you use words in such weird ways? Managers you see are so I get it from your perspective. I get what you're saying. Yeah, and I, I love Jesus and I have to fight war to make a better place for my for my children and for everyone else's children. I got to put myself what? My Adidas is that, that, that's a German com company. What? I counts my name at risk to stand in the front of this war that we have this is info wars right so we're gonna get oh you mean the language on hey, oh. Wars. by the way i asked the crew very lovingly <laughs> I, lo I love the crew no nah, you made you you, got... you 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 talk american you made you made the language oh yeah adidas just gave me the tweet i sent you this morning i i'm uh, like out of that the abortion mill new world order depopulation kill the black people organization planned parenthood where they said it's white people's job to give money so we can kill black people. It actually uh, bullshit. I, I show me the quote. He says that, and Ye didn't want me to have it on the desk because he wanted to be able to have it all look clean and stuff. And I get that, so I'm happy for Ye. But will you guys give me that damn tweet? Because I I love you to death, but I've been asking for an hour. I need that damn tweet. I want to show people this because it is such it, it, it is such mind control to say white people. You've got white guilt. They actually say, you're bad because you're white. Help us kill black people. What type of freakish, crazy world is that? Yay. Zionist. Is that is that too wide of a idea? Or do I have to just go specifically to who does that? But it's the devil. It's the devil. We all, like Grandma used to say, we all need Jesus Christ. And where I'm at, this position where God is, he's using me as a vessel. Everyone always knew that I was special, but now really? I get to be a vessel, and I feel oh my gosh. so. You know, can we? I'd like to go into a prayer. It's a prayer that my cousin wrote. Now, this prayer is it's pretty long, so please don't cut me off in the middle of this prayer. I'm not. Go ahead. So what happened is I was on a. We were doing a family uh, prayer Zoom on Sunday, and his name is Wayne, and he he tells me he says Kanye. He's like, bro, my name's Jay. You say a prayer. And then I said my prayer, and I, I felt that it was very profound. I felt like it was Jay Le What the fuck? I fucking love this. Tracks do think come from an Adidas factory in Eastern Europe being taken over the USSR or one of the Olympics or something. I'm not sure. Um, slab squatting the memes. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, you should look into um, how bad um, uh, clothing drives are for um, international, like for um, third, third world um, uh, economies. That are trying to, you know, get better.
double bars <laughs> where I said, let's let's remove this whole conversation of morality and let's go, let's, let's stick to the Bible and say, either Jesus said so or Jesus said no. Hold on, I'm going to wait till you drop this. Boom. All right. Listen. All right, so, and I felt like that was profound. That's like a bar that made me top five streaming artists. Hey, Nola, welcome. Year. Either Jesus said so or Jesus said no. Hey, Nola, he said the thing. He actually said the thing. We want to bring in our creative direction, Jesus. our opinion, and our moral compass. Forget the words moral compass. Is it in the Bible? What did the red letters say? What did Jesus say about it? The red and then letters. We make our decisions off of that. So I said this, and then I also was, I had an idea. Let's stop hoping. Let's pray. Let's talk directly to God. Let's stop hoping for stuff. I agree with that. He has hope in here. And then I took it out and then I put it back in. And oh, he, um, I, I moved. I, I uh, had to vacate uh, the property. So I'm living with my uh, brother and his family right now. What did Red Letter Media, Media say? Oh, I fucking love Red Letter Media. I can't wait till they get cancelled. It's going to be amazing. So I said this prayer, and my family members, they didn't say anything. And then he said his prayer, and all the whole family was like, oh, that's the best prayer I ever heard. And he's like, I know, I know. My prayers can be intimidating. I know, I know. My, they're like, did you write that down? That was the best prayer ever. And I was thinking like, bro, why you set me up? Why you set me up to say my prayer right before yep. your prayer? But this is his Nola, prayer. Nola, 100%. I was like, yo, send me that prayer, bro. That yeah, it's, it, lo it looks like, uh, it looks pretty much um, uh, dead on that we're going to need to be, take take them to court over the, um, over um, the bond because they're trying to um, basically get as much as they can out of it, it looks like at this point. Uh, also, they're um, they're harassing us outside of uh, business hours. Um, like they're, they're sending emails at like nine o'clock at night and stuff like that, which is really not acceptable. I've uh, I've, all, I've and we've we've spoken to them about this before that we don't appreciate it and we'd like them to um, message us during business hours. So that and and they've they replied with that's not how emails work. Lol to us, um, which is quite interesting. I, one day, I one day very soon, I'm gonna have to go through the emails and that whole drama because it's pretty fucking fucking crazy. Prayer was pretty uh, good. It says mm -hmm. uh, now. Um... Like literally, like over the last ten years, um, the landlord um, has gone through like uh, over over ten um, uh, real estate agencies uh, because they were because most of them refused to work with him because he so because they think he's unethical. The real estate agents think that the landlord is unethical, and the last uh, hey. Was it, uh, was it, uh, is, I'm trying to remember what, New Orleans, yeah, y'all. What? Landlords in Minecraft? I mean, yeah, I mean, you should always get, give the Minecraft, uh, landlords a chance to defend themselves in, um, in a court of law, just like in Cuba. Nick is Catholic, so he doesn't like referring to Jesus as Yahweh God. Yeah, but exactly. I am... But am I black? Am I African? Am I Semite? I, well, what, well, what is the... They, they call me anti-Semite. They said I'm a nigga in rap. They said I'm black. They told me, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Okay, James Brown, you tell me who I am. But I what? know that I'm a child of God and I know Jesus died for us. This is the daily prayer written by my cousin Wayne. Yahweh God, thank you for life, health, and strength. Faith... Whoa! He hadn't even fucking he hadn't even fucking read out the fucking prayer. That whole thing was him talking about how good the prayer is. My gosh, man! No wonder like Alex Jones looks so freaking exasperated throughout this whole thing. It's it's hilarious. Oh my gosh! Hope and love, and another day to bless, protect your most holy name. I surrender all Yahweh God and acknowledge that all things are spiritual before they are physical. For this reason, we also declare and decree that you are the maker, master, ruler, creator, and guider of our spiritual lives. We also acknowledge our brother Jesus Yahshua and the blood he shed that gave us blood paved pathways back to the holy of the holies. As we humbly come before you, Almighty your almighty throne of mercy and grace we welcome your glory to the rest 
to rest heavenly upon our shoulders. Bless our crown with supernatural wisdom and understanding, Yahweh God, so that we may walk in the true knowledge of who you are and who you created us to be. Quiet our spiritual minds, Yahweh God. God, slow us down and put us in proper alignment and divine timing with the will and purpose you have for our lives. Open our spiritual eyes, Yahweh God, so we may better see all of the divine things of the Spirit. Open our spiritual ears, Yahweh God, so we may better hear all of the sacred things of the Spirit. Guard our spiritual mouth, Yahweh God. Place a censor over our divine tongues so we may only speak words that glorify and edify you. I know, so right? Open our spiritual heart, Yahweh God, God, so we may walk into deeper communion, communication, commitment, intimacy, understanding, and a relationship with all of the divine things of the Spirit. Yahweh God, we recognize that the we do not battle against flesh and blood, but against spirits and powers, principalities and rulers of spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. It is for this reason that we put on the whole armor of God, Yahweh God. We put on the helmet of salvation and the breastplate, the breastplate of... Uh, and, and everybody clapped. Like, I, I, that's all I can say about this. It's just like, yes, this is, this is, this is, the, uh, like, this is just indoctrination at the end of the day like this is the same stuff that they say every single time at church like like um yeah it's, it's just it's just um like it's not that it's not that like it's just weird hearing hearing like the same stuff. This is just normal like run of the mill prayer at the end of the day. It's just like yay, like open our eyes. We love you, God. Uh, gonna put on the armor of God. We're gonna pick up the AK-47 of God. We're going to like kill the enemies of God. We're gonna like that sort of stuff over and over and over and over again. It's just so weird to just hear Kanye like talk about something which is so milk toast, I guess. To me. It's just it's just normal ass shit to me. Creative history is when you completely make up the shit that you wish was true but isn't at all. Yeah. Righteousness. We firmly attach the belt of truth around our waist and drench our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We take our sword of life spirit, which is the word of life and the shield of faith with which we will quench all of the fiery darts of the enemy. Thank you for blessing us from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet and everywhere in between with the first what we need, everything that we deserve, and then the best that you have for our lives, Yahweh God. God. In Jesus' name, amen. And perfect time to go to break. Hour number two, uncensored. Perfect time to go to break would have been about five minutes ago, dude. With yay, Nick Fuentes, I'm your guest host here in Insane Asylum World, because the whole world's crazy. Not, all of us are nuts. This is this is Twilight Zone 2.0. We will be Don't right you point back. Don't me when you say that. No, I'm talking about all of us. The whole world's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> fucking hell, he stepped on a fucking landmine! Uh, this is the, everything, everybody's crazy. I, I, I believe that. I, I'm seeing the guest host here because these guys are hosting. We'll be right back with hour number two. That's just fucking amazing. I don't think we're halfway through yet. Are we halfway through? Jeez, it's, it's 11.58 already. Damn. Hold on, I just need to double check this. Alpha. Oh my gosh! There's three hours of this thing, and we're just about like an hour into it. Damn! Damn! This is amazing. Well, let's go for a little. Oh, it's, oh, it's eleven. I gotta, I gotta work. Don't want to work, but I have to. All right, we're gonna have to continue this one tomorrow, I think. Gosh, I thought I could get through more of it, but damn, that was that's some crazy stuff. Not crazy, but yes. Oh my goodness! But yeah, um, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like continue this tomorrow because this is just amazing stuff. And I, and I think it go like I, I like clicked through it yesterday, and um, you know, like it looked, it looked like it was getting like amazing and 
out of control. Like, there's people running around on stage and just, just interrupting everyone, and it just looks amazing. So, look forward to that tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna come back with... Wait, is it Friday today? Shit. Oh, it is Friday today. Um, so, maybe not tomorrow. Might be next week. Damn. All right, but on Sunday night, I guess. It's Friday right now for me, but um, I'll be back. Um, I'll definitely be back on Sunday night. Um, might be back um, tomorrow night. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, um, don't forget to drop a follow if you'd like. Um, and bits in the doobly-doo as well to see the socials. I'm, I'm thinking about joining um, a different social media because, like, Twitter is becoming a desert for for con for me. Like looking at it, it just doesn't appear like uh, there's much. Like there, there's not there's just no one there anymore to uh, interact with. But that that's it, it's no longer fun, and I'm not sure I'd be getting the good attention uh, if I continue to post there about uh, my streams. Um, so I might uh, find an alternative or a bunch of alternatives to like move on to. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, um, take care of yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah, bye for now. Bye-bye. Love y'all.